How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing, the Gun Manor DLC, which is uh, just a sh shorthand because they reckoning at Gun Manor every single time seems like it would get a little old relatively quickly. There are more spiders. I was thinking Florence was winging out super hard. I thought I was like totally done with all the spider stuff. Oh, that one's bobbing around all disgustingly. There's even more sporter spiders, spiders back there. Spoiders. I'm scared of all these spoiders, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did see a thing. Yep. Yep. I was not expecting to go second. That sucks. Uh, but I was just thinking. I was literally just about to say. The DLC specifically scales difficulties. And so the fact that I played this with like an end game character means everything is kind of crazy difficult hard right now. Uh, I should be able to do the fan hammer to kill both of these try and make things a little easier, but if they keep doing these one-shot things like that, then I'm just boned. Uh, I really just gotta hope that this thing doesn't do enough damage on its own. Oh my god. It came down to the wire much more than I would have liked. I'm not okay with that. I don't want this character to have to die and rest and lose all the crazy amount of food and everything I pumped into him. I I'm not psyched about that. Uh, it's strange that these got split up like that. It seems like they are the same. You made short work of those long-legged nasties. In a medium amount of time, too. There we go. We get the short, short of it, long of it, and a little bit of a medium in between there as well. I do have a lot of unspent experience, so I guess I, I should try and spread some of that love around a little bit. Maybe that would make me a little bit e better at standing my ground against some of this. Either that or it's just going to make it more difficult. Because now the game's going to view me as, as stronger. That does worry me to an extent. Oh, jeez. Somebody's trapped in this cocoon. Oh, cut them loose. It's not. Spiders? That's good. The way that my lantern reflects on it looks kind of goofy. Oh, it's like Creepy Mannequin from before. Crap, I wish I hadn't clicked past it and skipped out of the dialogue there. Well... Hopefully when you go back and read it later, it, it it was extra funny. Honestly, I think I feel, oh, oh, there's a, no, that's just a shadow. I thought an extra, extra big one was coming up there. I don't know if I'm fully prepared to take on three of the big black widow ones at once. It kind of feels a little intense. Oh, I don't know what this is, uh, what darkness this is spewing out over here. I'm intrigued. It seems to you like this machine is designed to suck up coal and send it through the wall. But then again, you're no expert in matters of coal. Or sucking. That's true. I've been a, a champion and brilliant at everything I've done right since the very beginning of the game. I've never sucked once. It's the coal chute. Shoot on up it? Um, no. I should probably explore down below a little bit before I go blasting on ahead. You holler for Florence and she comes over to you. Whoa, Nelly, hold on a second. That's a ghost. Those things are dangerous. I wasn't expecting to see any of those here. What? You're a ghost hunter, and you're here specifically to hunt ghosts? No, 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 no. That's just ghosts. This is a ghost. A greater haunt originating from spectral transmissions. <laughs> totally different from just a regular ghost, but like a spectral transmission, like a, a radio wave, something kind of like that. Except for the name, you mean. Yes, those, those are the same. Anyway, those things can be pretty tough. Heck, I knew I should have brought a bismuth bomb. Oh, we found bismuth at one point, didn't we? Or we found something that, like, weirdly smelled like bismuth that came up at some point. A what bomb? Bismuth. It's a sort of silvery metal that screws up spectral energy the way iron does with magnetic energy. Oh, no. Maybe there was a, the periodic table. Maybe that's just where bismuth came up. Huh. So... Where do we get a bismuth bomb? <laughs> bismuth. Normally I just make them myself in the lab. Well, so much for that idea then. Well, that workbench we found earlier might have the stuff I'd need. Just fight the thing. No. No, that sounds like a bad call. I'd rather figure things out a little bit first before we just go for it. Uh, I found something for you? Yeah, take the science junk. I found some science-looking stuff you might be interested in. Ooh, I love science-y junk. Thanks. Just for the, the experience. Oh, and I do get more than that. Wow. A nylon-coated diode. Neat. Sounds like another made-up element. Florence attaches one of the science doohickeys you gave to her. 
uh, to her weird backpack. Florence's gun damage has been increased, and new skill, Enlightenment Field. Oh, cool, so I'm upgrading her the same way that I did, like, Susie, but now I'm realizing she's not taking part in these battles at all. Uh, I, I, how do I, how do I swap that out? What if I want her to fight alongside me instead of, uh, Susie or Bill? Yeah, crap, I, uh, I didn't really think about it. I just thought that maybe she was a spare character that didn't take part in fights. Uh, Susie, any reason you'd want to step aside or anything like that? Quite a cellar they got here. Heck, the cellar alone is bigger than our whole house was. What's a buddy do with all this space? Uh, I guess we could ask the spiders. I think we already, I think we already went through that bit of dialogue with her. I don't think I can swap her out or anything. It seems like it would be beneficial to add her to the team. All right, well, let's see what it comes down to. No, yes. I got nothing. I think I'm stuck without her, which is too bad, because it kind of sounds like she would be really useful. Maybe if you fight specifically a ghost, she steps up. Oh, do you know what? That's probably all it is, is that she just really specifically doesn't want to deal with spiders. She's scared of them, so she just doesn't take part in the spider-based battles. I, I can get down for that. I see what's going on. Hmm, maybe should have stopped that from happening. Just to try and keep Bill around. He probably could have killed it. It looked like he did pretty well half the damage. We should we should be able to make it through okay, but if I fight if I end up in any battles that have like one more enemy than just these three at a time, then I'm pretty much boned. It takes more than three huge spiders to stop you from killing everything you meet. Four, maybe. Yeah, that's little literally what I'm getting at. If it comes down to four, I might be SOL. This hole contains approximately an infinite number of, of spiders. Pull some out and fight them. No. No, that sounds like too many spiders. And also not worth it, because it seems like it would be very, very dangerous. For the exact reasons of why I didn't even want to fight those three. Someone's been cocooned by spiders. Horrifying. Hey, are you okay in there? Mmm. What? Mmm. What? I can't understand you. Hang on. I'll poke you a mouth hole. We've ripped open that mannequin spider sack like it was nothing. What are we doing dragging this guy around, like, leading him along and not just opening it up immediately? There, you were saying? Hi, hello, salutations. Wait, is this a goblin or something? Wasn't it... Is it goblins that always, like, just say a bunch of hellos like that really quickly? Hey, uh, you okay? I've certainly been better. Well, what happened? I was practicing my greetings. I'm the museum greeter. <laughs> Is that something that requires a lot of practice? Practice makes perfect, right? Well, good for you for putting in the effort, no matter what the job. And there's an old mannequin down here that's pretty good for practicing on. We've met. Anyway, a bunch of giant spiders grabbed me from behind. It was quite a surprise. It was a weird place for you to be practicing your greetings. Do you know it's a good place for that? The front door of things, where people walk through. I would imagine so. I should probably get back to work. It wouldn't be right to allow visitors to go ungreeted. Can you let me out of this cocoon? Maybe, maybe later? <laughs> I guess I can do it now. I just wanted to know if they, he would like have any response to that. Like, why not? Howdy, greetings. Hey there. Are you going to let me out now? Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, you cut open the sticky cocoon, freeing the trapped museum greeter. Phew, thanks. You can get through the coal chute down the hall. Oh, that's... I guess we'll know how to track him down later then. Great, stop by the entrance later and I'll give you the official museum greeting. All those other ones were just warm-ups, hey? A gun manor boiler room. There's a little spigot here, but since the boiler isn't on, it won't do much of anything. What about this little note on the boiler? The boiler is cold and the indicator for the cool tank, coal tank is pointing to E. Uh, not not for east, as you might expect, as one would assume in a giant tank, but likely for empty. Well, oh, maybe maybe now that, uh, I w yeah, now that the spider's gone, that's what I was thinking. Maybe Florence would be more willing to talk, and we can deal with getting you on the team to take part in fighting the all capitals ghost. What do you say? What do you know? She raises an eyebrow. Weird instruments. Thanks. Talk to you later. All that good jazz. Uh. Bunch of, bunch of nothing. 
Oh, it's the creepy mannequin from before. Now I know that I can practice my greetings on it. Welcome. Try, try again. How's it going? I don't know if these, I guess these are greetings, they kind of are, but maybe start with like something a little more vanilla. Just go with like a hello, a hi, see how that works out and then go from there. What's cracking? How's it going? Do you know what? I think these might be the usual greetings that I actually use when I ran, it, like when I talked to any old random NPC in the game. So I wonder if I can learn new ones. If I've been saying the same ones this whole time and eventually, like if I practice enough times, if I'll start coming up with new stuff to say that I've I've never busted out before. Salutations, I don't know, that might be that might be new. I've probably used that before at some point. What's up? That one's kind of new and different, but maybe you should hold it a little longer, try and put a few more like S's and what's ups and things like that on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna like rapid fire this and see if anything changes. Oh, they did start changing. It was the same stuff over and over. Hi, sup, hi there, nice to see you. How's it hanging? Uh, now I'm getting back into stuff I've seen. What's shaking? Goodbye. Oh, whoops. Guess this does take some practice after all. It took so many times clicking for that to come up. That had to have been like the 30th or 40th or something. Uh, and then it came up again after like 10 more. So I I'm thinking uh, there's like probabilities for each of these coming up and that one was just very rare. So it's not like it was a set number of times clicking that. So that's my thinking of how that worked out anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's enough for now. Uh, anything you can do in here? Any sciencing to make us a, a bismuth, bismuth bomb or anything like that? You look over the tools on the bench, you could definitely make a silencer here. The first thing you'll need... Oh, did I read about the blueprints before but then never actually like followed up on it? I went and made that really terrible gun. But the first thing you need is a 1.2337 inch diameter cylinder. Hmm, maybe a tin can would work? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the kind of jerry-rigging you want to do is on a gun. You also need some stuffing to pad out the inside of the can. That's going to be tricky to find. Uh, maybe later then. But I do have uh, some slight ideas of what to keep an eye out for then. The workbench is littered with scrap metal and little canisters labeled bismuth. Do not eat. Hey Florence, can you make a Bisquick bomb out of this stuff? <laughs> Which is just kind of like chocolate syrup for your milk, I think. Bismuth? Come on, man. It says it right on the canisters. Fine, fine. Can you make it, though? Hell yeah, I can. Stand back and watch a master at work. Stand back, etc. <laughs> Do all of those things. Florence goes to town with a hammer and pliers and comes back with a metal sphere. I mean... I don't think she actually made a trip anywhere. It was just kind of a little localized trip, but uh, glad to have you back. It has a grinning skull painted on it and a big red button on the side. Well, that's properly intimidating at least. And it ain't just a pretty face. The Bismuth Bomb. This is a bomb which Florence assures you is safe unless you're a coal-based phantasm. And you're not one of those as far as you know. Groovy. Am I not going to have uh, repeated amounts of this? We're just going to have the one to take care of that one particular ghost? I wasn't sure if it was going to come up over and over again. More gunsmithing? You've done enough damage. I can't can't carry on with it. It went terribly once. No need to try that anymore then. I thought I would, you know, take a, take a note from the uh, practice makes per per perfect <laughs> line of thinking. I thought maybe I would be able to get a tin can out of there or something. Uh, I, I've already done that. No, no dialogue changes there. All right, ghost. We're ready for you this time. Okay, go for it with the bomb. I don't want to actually have to do any fighting. Great, better cover your ears and eyes and, well, just cover your entire head. Let her, let her rip. <laughs> you go for it. Get a nice good toss in there. Really... Use a uh, use a nice overhand. That was risky. I would have I would have granny shotted that for sure. What's the skinny? I thought maybe we could commend her for what a good job she just did. A big old cart of coal. Push it. Okay. Push it real good. I was mostly gonna just collect the coal, but this works too. The coal is under the weird machine now, so everything should be ready to go with whatever the weird machine does. Oh. I can't ride up the... No, wait, it was this that I can shoot up there. I should probably check that out and see how it works. This isn't just a trickle of coal. It's a whole huge pile. You could disappoint so many kids on Crimbo Morning with this amount of coal. 
long running thing from Kingdom of Loathing is that Christmas is Crimbo. This coal is funkier than coal from Mecca, but not as funky as coal from Medina. Well, I mean, this will be useful for that in the other room there, but I think I need the something. I, I need another tool or whatever to get that going. So I'll shoot on up. Not at all where I thought that was going to take me. Oh, am I in like the back side of the house or something? Yeah, this is this is new. This is different. Okay. The remains of a coal delivery man. His bones are charred as though he were burned in some kind of coal man stove. Oh my goodness, that was kind of coal delivery man, coal man stove. That was hard to got confusing. You got the gun, manor, carriage, house key. The little tag, not pictured. <laughs> why? Why wouldn't they? I mean, I guess they didn't just for that joke, probably. Gun, manor, carriage, house. Do not duplicate. Good thing key copying machines haven't been invented yet. Makes it a lot easier to not make duplicates than, yes. It smells like coal, but it's empty. It's a huge mound of food in various stages of decay. Maybe someone's trying to start a compost heap? That would be the charitable explanation, at least. Not just disgusting. Ooh, yeah, use my stench resistance. You dig through the trash and find a single item of non-trash. Okay, see, that's the thing, is that the game is going to scale in the sense that enemies have more health and deal more damage and things like that. But like, I bet you the requirements of moxie and, and stench resistance and things like that for interacting with things and getting those bonuses, bonus dialogues and interactions wouldn't have scaled. So I'm gonna be able to access a lot of things that maybe a new character coming and doing the DLC wouldn't be able to do. The Jumbo Jumbo Shrimp Fork. So it's a big fork for Jumbo Shrimp. This fork is too large to eat even the largest possible shrimp with, and it's made of solid silver, which people make no sense. So it's too large and cumbersome? Deals extra damage against cows and other demonic creatures. Extra moxie. Yeah, I haven't had to fight cows in quite some time. I'm more of the ranged type. Oh, we ended up on the other side of the hedge maze? Wow, some hedge maze. Well, they... We've all we've already talked about all this. I am in a different part of it though, right? Yes, I believe I am. That was also these bat hedges are weird. Don't know what to do about that. Weird, this bush seems to be full of pinto and kidney beans. You didn't think those grew on bushes, and you especially didn't think they grew on the same bush. A, a bean bush is a little strange. I do not, I honestly do not know what to make of any of that. I mean, I guess I got that carriage house key. The jumbo fork thing wasn't that exciting. I guess I'm gonna go back down. I don't want to go commit to the hedge maze too soon. I think I need to poke around a little bit more just to be certain. The boiler is off, but the coal tank is full. All you need to do now is press the ignition. Press it. The boiler clatters to life as the tank full of coal begins to burn. But is it not going to work without this? Little spigot? Okay, turn it on. I thought I had to repair this or something. You pour a little bit of boiling water onto the dirt floor, making hot mud. Should I take a, take a, a little handful of that or something? What am I supposed to do with hot mud? It just squelches when I walk around on it? That's the only good that that does? Oh, at some point I must find a container or something that I could fill up with hot water for who knows what purpose, but yeah, for right now it appears to do nothing. Alright, the boiler is living up to its name quite nicely now. So now now we got hot water going on. We should be able to deal with all the uh, or hot, hot house going on. <laughs> we should be able to deal with all that stuff upstairs, like the uh, all the frozen sections and other other frosty parts of the house. Ah, turning the boiler on the boiler solved our ice problem. My scientific hypothesis has been proven correct, but we don't have direct evidence connecting the ice to the. Don't wor Don't you try and pull a post hoc ergo propter hoc on me? I'll shoot you with my science rifle. In that case, I totally agree with you. Let's hunt us some ghosts. That was some crazy philosophical jujitsu you just did there. Heck yeah! I'm down for shooting ghosts any day of the week. The radiators are burbling merrily and producing plenty of heat now. Did we do anything in the parlor? We did, yes. There was the rat sit. I recall the rat sit. And all of this is where we were frozen, so this will be, this will be new. I'll hold off in the elevator for now. We had like the beet and the carrot. What's it gonna say about the peanut? 
A painting of an elephant would love this. <laughs> uh, still life of a fruit. Technically, yes, if you want to get into it. I think most things are fruits. It's insane to have the number of things that are actually fruits. The, the number of times that I've heard this fact come up when people are like, well, technically, it's uh, salads with tomatoes in them are fruit salads. The amount of times I've heard stuff like that came up ruined that fact. It was a fun fact that majority of people knew, but it was still fun now and again because some people wouldn't know, but it got ruined by overusage. Some decorative dried plants. Uh, and a still life of fruit. Oh, okay, so that one's fruit. That one's fruit, technically. But it makes it sound like they're decorative plants that have died, or like it's decorative versions of dead plants. But I think it's just like real plants that have been dried out so that they could be used decoratively. That's my interpretation here. Uh, dining room first, and we'll look at the kitchen, since I'm already closer to it ever so slightly. A big rack of expensive looking plates. That was like, oh, that guy's not a ghost. Oh, but is he so desperately want to eat and he can't because the ghost is there doing his thing? Maybe these are actually like eggs or CDs or something. Look more closely. Oh. That was too close. <laughs> horrifying. Oh, it says boo. Okay, I thought it was just horrifying that they exploded on their own. I was busy just feeling guilty that I broke all those plates. What's the skinny compadre? Ah, yes, to all this stuff. According to my weird instruments, 13 ghosts, 4 on the- Yeah, okay, thanks, I'll talk to you later. Did we deal with at least one, though, by dealing with the big ghost, or is that somehow separate? Since it was a ghost instead of a ghost. One of the museum staff is frantically serving plates of invisible ghost food to the ghost, who is shoveling it in by the fistful. He seems too busy to talk to you. Okay. This ghost is cramming his face with invisible food. Maybe he's a ghost of an emperor. Uh, put a stop to it violently. No thanks. I'll just correct his manners. Hey, buddy. Hey! Huh? Come on, man. At least use a napkin or stick your pinkies out or something. Uh, sorry about that. I'm just so hungry. What's going on here? This waiter doesn't know how to make ghost food. So he's just giving me imaginary food and hoping I won't know the difference. That is, uh, that was a good strategy. I commend him for his, uh, quick thinking on that one. They feel kind of bad about dragging him into this mess, and you're, you're enabling him by pretending that, by not correcting him and pretending to eat his imaginary food. So I've been pretending to eat it to humor him. I'm starving. Huh. You need some actual ghost food? Maybe I can help you out. Oh, God, yes, please. Specifically, what I want is a bowl of chili. A bowl of chili without a gun in it. Is that a common issue in this place? There's just guns littered literally everywhere? Okay, I'll... What? Oh, maybe that's how he died. <laughs> that's what I'm craving. I guess it's probably because of how I died. How did you die? Well, I was eating some chili and it had a gun in it. Did you choke? What? No, it went off and shot me to death. Why did... Look, all I know is I need to eat a bowl of gunless chili in order to satisfy my hunger and pass on to the afterlife. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Mm. Wait, so are these uh, 13 ghosts that need to be, like, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's a ghost I need to fight. Like, I guess I could have fought this guy and killed him, but I don't want to. I want to help him. So there's 13 ghosts I need to help, which seems like a pretty healthy number of ghosts. That seems achievable and also nice because I was scared that this DLC was going to be, like, two hours long. We'll have plenty to do with all that. Cards laden with empty dishes. Is he serving him clean dishes or is he giving him dirty ones? Because it won't matter, but maybe if they're dirty, it'll make him think that there's more to it than there actually is. It's a des deserted dessert cart. Okay, it's not entirely deserted. It's d deserted. It's not des deserted either. Deserted? Jesus, it's hard to... What, am, what is even going on? It's only deserted of desserts. Just desserts. That's great. Small blowtorch. This is a little blowtorch used for making such fancy desserts as creme brulee, torched Alaska, burnt cake, and ruined tiramisu. <laughs> That's the way I personally like my tiramisu. I think you're uh, you're doing it wrong. If you don't want a little bit of a char on there, right? Do it on a campfire. No need to wrap it up or anything. Just throw it right on the flames. It's totally fine. 
It's wonderful. Dang. Ma would have gone crazy to see a kitchen like this. Because it's so big? Nah, because it's so dusty. I thought you were just going to say because she's crazy. And everything makes her crazy. <laughs> There's a ghost here mumbling and muttering and yammering. Something about eggs? Interpret his disjointed ravings. Hang on a second. You tried to poach an egg by shooting it? You guys got to take a step back from the gun stuff now and again and realize there's more to life. Although I'm literally named after the fact that I shoot things for a profession, so I guess I can't really talk. For dad gum, yes, that's what I did. Heck, of course I did, that's how you poach an egg. Pappy didn't raise no fool. But dad gum, first Glurger egg rolled out of the way of the bullet. First Lugginer? First Lugginer. First, I don't know what the hell he's trying to say. Ricocheted off the bottom of the crock pot, got me right between the peepers for god damn. That's not how you poach an egg. Why are you talking out of your head like that? Of course it is. No, it isn't. That got my boy, me and my puppy, and his puppy been poaching all our lives, and all I know about poaching that I ever will. Okay, well, it's not the same kind of poaching. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't pick up one. That's what they were getting at sooner. That's amazing. Wow, all this dad gum sass mush talking boy poaching's poaching. <laughs> I'm gonna prove you so wrong. As soon as I figure out how. Let's just start cooking eggs, dude. We can figure it out. Throw in some Gordon Ramsay. Take it off the heat. Put it on the heat. Take it off the heat. Put it on the heat. We'll be fine. Hey, there's a little tin here. Uh, it's labeled chili spices. That might be useful. Yes, uh, we can make our chili. Well, we'll just make chili, and then we'll kill it. Right? We'll just shoot it. We'll get this guy to shoot it. He's good at shooting food. We'll be fine. This is one of those pre-assembled spice mixtures for cheaters. Okay, well, not all of us have time. Or the know-how. Okay. Oh, he's actually literally blocking the way. Well, then. I guess we're not going to get into it immediately. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody left the ice room door open. That explains the ice. Oh, no, I do just want to go inside. I want to see what's going on here. Need to use my cold resistance. Oh, this poor lady. Don't worry, I'll help her in a minute. I got other things to do. I would help I help a mannequin instantly the second I see him. No no questioning it. Dive right in there. But as soon as I see a, a poor helpless person by themselves frozen in a block of ice, I'll get around to it, okay? Bags of frozen food? Unidentifiable matter. Frozen solid. It's a Magimech Tech brand deep freeze unit. I wonder, has, has Magimech Tech come up earlier in the game? I can't recall. More frozen goods of unknown composition and provenance. And another shelf of frozen stuff. Well, I think we've done everything there is to do in here. I'm just joking. I'll come help. Hey, hi. Excuse me. Hey, are you practicing your greetings as well? You're pretty good at it. You seem to be trapped in a block of ice. That was... Just what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. It was, uh, it was coming up, it was going to come up quickly, that's for sure. Can you get me out of here somehow? Besides the whole frostbite thing, oh, which is super crazy. A guy I worked with just got frostbite on his foot, like, two weeks ago. It seems like hell to go through. It seems so painful. I'm supposed to be running the elevator. Oh, I didn't even try to use the elevator. And there aren't any proper stairs in this crazy place, so that's kind of important. Let me think. What about a whole lot of fire? Imagine a kerosene sounds really fun. I didn't even know that I had those things. Maybe this would help. Seems more reasonable. I can't think of anything. Well, no hurry or anything. I think I can still feel a couple of my toes. I don't actually need those to work the elevator, I guess. So, you know, take your time. Oh, so amicable, so nice. I do intend to help. I just want to see if there's, like, joke dialogue for this. There's a sign that says only authorized and trained personnel may operate this elevator. Try it anyways. Are you sure? You're not authorized. And you're also not trained. Yeah, I'll risk it. This is crazy. You're not... It's not like a mine elevator, which is simple and safe. <laughs> Very safe. No one's ever died in a mining accident, ever. And that's really funny, because I definitely have used eleva elevators in this game. This is a fancy elevator. You have no idea what you're doing. You can't stop me. <laughs> you stopped me. You can't stop me. Okay, it's your funeral, I guess. With an elevator-shaped coffin, probably. I'm kind of wigged out all of a sudden. Do I do it? 
Am I gonna die? Am I gonna have to restart this character? Do it. You mess with the levers and buttons for a while, but you can't get the elevator to do anything. See? I told you it wouldn't work. <sighs> Fine. It just sounded kind of fun. I just wanted to live dangerously, you know? Risk things a little bit. Well, now that we've seen where that goes and how that plays out, next time we'll make sure to free this lovely lady from her walk-in freezer nightmare and then we can we can see where the elevator takes us i just it was worth it it was worth it to go investigate that just like i thought it would be i'm glad I, i'm glad i went that way Ooh, now i gotta decide if i'm gonna f let her out of here softly and gently and carefully delicately or explosively <laughs> that'll be a fun decision Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Calm, calm down. You'll be fine. Or, or keep flapping like that. You'll warm yourself up and you'll, you'll be able to stay here all the longer. I'm dancing. It's keeping me warm. You should try some of that.